Today's sunshine note is titled, The Best Laid Plans. Now Sarah saw the son of Hagar, the Egyptian, whom she had borne to Abraham, mocking. Therefore she said to Abraham, Drive out this maid and her son, for the son of this maid shall not be in heir with my son Isaac. Genesis 21, verse 9 and 10. Once when I was in my later teens, I had a friend who had a really bad cold. He was sneezing, snorting, and coughing to the point where I really felt sorry for this miserable character. So I did what I thought at that time was a good idea. I gave him some of my prescription allergy medicine. It had always helped me with my runny nose and sneezing during allergy season, so it stood to reason that it would help my friend too, right? He took the medicine. Two hours later, I had to take him to the hospital. Something in the medicine caused an allergic reaction and he developed hives all over his body. So much for my good intentions. I'm sure that Abraham thought he was doing the sensible thing when he took Hagar as his wife and had a son with her. I am also sure that Abraham loved his son Ishmael very much. Yet, because he had presumed to fulfill the promise of God, through his own strength, Abraham had created a mess that was just now coming back to bite him. Sarah's insistence that Hagar and Ishmael be kicked out of camp won the day, and Abraham had to say goodbye to a wife and a son. How that must have broken his heart! And can you imagine the hurt that Abraham's own son must have felt as his own father rejected him? That hurt would last for generations, even into today's world with the strife that continues between Ishmael's offspring, the Arabs, and Isaac's offspring, the Jews. I don't want to beat a dead horse here, but I have to say it again. When we presume to take the place of God in our own life or in the life of someone else, we will reap a sorry reward in the end. God can forgive us for our mistake, but the earthly repercussions may last a lifetime. Once again, we need to let God be God. Now Sarah saw the son of Hagar the Egyptian, whom she had borne to Abraham mocking. Therefore she said to Abraham, Drive out this maid and her son, for the son of this maid shall not be a heir with my son Isaac. Genesis 21 verses 9 and 10. May God bless you today.